Uh, hi, Mark. Hello. Um, what did Sander say when you asked him for well to to sing on this new album? He said absolutely not. No, no, no. no. He, uh, we were already in contact, and uh, uh, the the bad situation of the past was solved already. And when I asked him to to participate on the album, uh, he said, "Yeah, that uh, seemed a good idea to him." And uh, uh, um, I think he said right away, "Yes." I, I don't remember it. Uh, I think I asked him by email. Uh, so yeah, I was uh, happy that he he was enthusiastic right away. And when were you on speaking terms again? Because I think well, in the beginning when you were. Uh Picked out of uh, out forever. <laughs> you weren't on speaking terms. No, no, because uh, that period was a hard period, and uh, uh, also later on he apologized for for being that rude. It was not the right way. Also, uh, it was can you be a bit more precise? How? What? What? What was his rudeness? Uh, the rudeness was that uh, it was really like uh, a bomb. It, it hit me like a bomb. Uh, it was uh, on a clear sky. This suddenly happened. Uh, uh, I didn't see it coming. It was from one show to a rehearsal uh, that they took the, the gear away, and then we started. We would like to, uh, would have started rehearsing that day, but then they appeared and said, "Yeah, you are out of the band." And it was a shock for me. And uh, it was right before a tour we we would do with Nightwish. It was right before uh, a show uh, Copspikers on television. And it was right before Pink Pop. These uh, are three things uh, which is not fun to miss because you work for many years to, to reach a goal, and then when you finally reach it, you're gonna be kicked out of your band. So he later uh, uh, said, "Apologize for for being so rude, so to to let this happen to me right away." He said uh, that I didn't deserve it this way, but for sure there were some arguments and. There was there needed to be a solution, but I think the solution could have been also in, in found in many other ways. But uh, after all, I can be happy as well because Epica is going very well. I have the freedom to do wh whatever I want. I can make the music I love. So in the end, maybe it had to be like this. Is it for you because you were saying, well, it was like a well, um, well, you didn't expect it to happen. Um, Really? Because sometimes you can tell no, when no, things no. are not really uh, going well and it's trained because well, you were friends for many years. So you did actually because... Well, no, that's I think really he, he had a relationship with, with, with Floor. Couldn't you tell that maybe some things were changing towards yeah, you? Yeah, for sure, for sure. When, when they told me I was the first, they, they were going to tell that they had a relationship. And uh, the first thing that appeared to my mind when they told it to me was like, this is going to be my end. That was really the first thing I thought, because uh, when you uh, you hear it so many times, relationship on the work floor, there can occur some difficulties. And uh, later on, I was not af afraid for it anymore. But but I, and I didn't see it coming. But when you look back, you could have uh, foresee it coming. It was possible to to to. Because did you did you work? Together with with Sander a lot, or that, did Sander work together with Floor a lot, or, or, or did you? In work the beginning, with Floor? I did everything with Sander together. But since they got a relationship, they worked more and more together themselves. And uh, I think that that's a natural process when you have a relationship, because um, uh, you you are always together. It's easy to to discuss right away than than calling somebody. So I understand this this happening, but uh, for me it was uh, a pity the end.